All right, here we go. We are jumping into Forza Horizon 5, brand new game that just came out today. Today is the early access. We did get the gold edition, and we're gonna go over exactly what you get with the gold edition in this game. But first, we're gonna jump into the intro, see what this game is all about, take a look at all the different terrains, and of course, have that one-on-one -on -one experience together. This has been a long awaited journey up until this point and i haven't really spoiled it didn't look at many gameplay videos or reviews or anything like that i'm just going to jump into it and see it for myself very excited to play with some of the cars that they are putting in the game because they're brand new to the game as well all the different areas of the map something that was very stale in forza horizon 4 was the map it got very boring very quick not a lot to explore and that's what we're looking forward for this so we're going to go ahead right now and start this game up to let go and enjoy the ride. All right, here we go. This is straight fast and the furious. I like it. Drop it like it's hot. This is the volcano part of the map. Now this looks very cool. We're driving a Ford Bronco it looks like. Once it gets released from this uh, parachute. And this is a brand new car in the game or SUV I should say. It's very appropriate for the terrains it looks like. It's such a stunning map already. This thing looks absolutely incredible. Of course, you're racing a big airplane right now in the sky in an SUV, man. Absolutely insane. We got some other driver cars right here. Driving some very cool cars. Like I said, very excited to see some of the new cars in the game. This Ford Bronco is one of them. Probably out of like 10 to 15 new cars, I'm sure. And we'll experience them all, go over them all as well, and also jump into all the customization options that are available for each and every single car. Now one thing right off the rip that I really enjoy is just the, the freedom of driving. It's kind of like, it, it's very forgiving. You can do kind of whatever you want because it's an arcade game. You can go off of ramps, jump out of uh, airplanes, like there's no consequences. You can just have a lot of fun in this game. There we go. Making new friends, eh? You go enjoy yourself. I have to go make another delivery. Oh yeah, here we are. Look at this. Now that's one thing in Forza Horizon 4 I was so excited for the C8 to come out and then when it did come out it just it was above expectations like it was so good at driving handling everything this one's a wide body too that's cool 
So I'm very happy this car is back in the game. It also looks like it has some crazy customization options. So I'm excited to see what this has to offer. Now I think I have to mess with my settings, my controls, like my uh, steering and everything a little bit. But overall it feels very similar to Forza, uh, Horizon 4. Probably the same mechanics as that game had. I'm not sure how the sounds are for the, the cars. It's very, very loud right now. But of course, with the videos to come, we will definitely experience all that and kind of compare them. That was a really jank corner with the turning. Of course, this is not an off-road car, so actually the, the terrain that you're on does actually affect your car. And look at this, man. We're going right into a sandstorm. This is going to be really nice. Not nice, but cool. Cool experience, I should say. Jeez, holy. Luckily, it's a straightaway. That's sweet. So like I said, that's also one thing I'm very excited to do is just kind of explore the map. I haven't taken a look at the map yet, so I don't know everything it has to offer. But I do know there's multiple different places to go and experience and just kind of get a different feel for the game in all these different areas. Now it looks like we're, we're heading into the forest. We got an off-roading Porsche. This is going to be awesome. This thing's sweet. Of course, you have the water that goes in between the roads, just like the, the typical Forza. You have the flamingos. Go, go, go. Wow, eh? So this is the intro to the game. I'm literally just starting it up, and we're trying to experience it for the first time. Now, um... What happens with this game, or, or the reason we're playing it now, is it's early access. So pretty much what this video is going to kind of dive into after the intro is what you actually get with the game if you buy the VIP exclusive version, which is the premium version or the gold edition, however you want to call it, or whatever you want to call it. Um, that's what we're going over. Compared to if you are just buy the base game, is it worth it? Is it not worth it? To me... I play this game so much every single year that it comes out that I always just end up getting the gold edition because why not? You're going to get to experience every car, you're going to get to experience the expansions. Um, right off the rip, there's so many different benefits to actually getting the, uh, what's it called, the, the gold edition, the, the premium edition. So pretty much we'll just do a, a little breakdown and then you can decide. The early access for me alone literally just makes it so, um, so like such a no-brainer uh, just to get the um, edition. Sorry, I'm trying to focus right now. The, the water really affects your car a lot when driving, and I'm not really sure where to go. The mini map, I can't tell if the mini map was switched to the opposite side or if it's always been in the bottom left. I feel like it should be in the bottom right, though. But those are three different areas that we just explored, and they're all absolutely beautiful. This is the final drop. The whole festival is waiting. Go, go, go! And here's the big boy. The poster car. This is the Mercedes One, I think it's called, or Project One or something. Wow, what a machine. This thing literally looks like a spaceship. Absolutely insane. It also sounds incredible, too. And yo, this road seems incredible. We're up to 200 miles per hour. Seems like there's so much room just to let loose. Kind of got to slow down. There's a yes go in front of us as well. That's awesome to see that car return. I was very excited for that car to be in Forza Horizon 4. One of my favorite cars. I wonder if they'll bring more Kona Segs to the game. Like the, the Gymera and the um, the Absolute. The yes go Absolute. I think both those cars are in the Crew 2. So it would be interesting to see if 
they bring them to this game. I also want to find the longest piece of road where I can literally just get all the cars up to the, the top speed that they can absolutely go and kind of compare them that way. But those are the type of videos to expect, how to make money, uh, how to customize the cars, all the customizations for the cars. We'll put some cars up against each other. We'll do versus series, we'll do the whole nine yards, some gameplay videos like this. And of course, what you get with this premium edition. This is very cool. party people and we are just getting started please welcome our number one superstar to horizon wow that was really fun to be honest every single forza horizon that we've gotten actually gives you like a little introduction like that where you're racing a couple different new cars now here is your character customization so right off the rip you're going to customize your character it looks like you can kind of go more in depth with what you can do you can change the hair the hair color you can add prosthetics um, let's go ahead and pick a character here. Now, I usually just go for one that kind of looks like me. Um, I think this guy is okay right here. Go ahead and pick him. You can change the hair so you can give him long hair if you wanted to. We're going to go ahead with doing that. Give him some like lighter brown hair. Yeah, so a prosthetic arm, prosthetic leg. You can add any of those. Or you can just do nothing. <laughs> you you can uh you can pick his identity or her identity we'll go ahead and put put him and then you get one of two different voices we'll try them both eh. hello hello this is the sound of my voice we'll go with number one hello there we go hello this is the sound of my voice that's very cool man look at that car that's absolutely incredible. Please give it up for Hey, my friend, when you dropped from that plane, what were you thinking? I was doing all I could to not think about it. <laughs> Jamie told me to expect big things from you, but nothing so... Uh, so... Espectacular? Yes, Haley! I have so much to show you. Cerros, desiertos, la jungla, pirámides, la belleza de México. Your pronunciation was muy bien, by the way. Getting better. Listen, if you plan on stopping by the festival at any point, you'll need one of these. No promises, Jefa. I believe this is yours. How was your flight? Not bad. Exit procedure was a bit rough. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Come on. Rami will handle expeditions. I will coordinate festival logistics, which just leaves... Primita! Ben! <laughs> what do you call Primita, Primito? I saw what you did in the UK. Vamos a hacer de banda. Alejandro, right? If the rumors about what you can do with an engine are true, I'm sure we will. Oh, speaking of, did we get that delivery? Arrived this morning. Yes. Mira, que chulada. This is quite a collection. You've got taste. I'll get them over to the garage. But which one are you taking out first? Wow, so right off the rip, I have to admit, those cutscenes are incredible. They did such a good job. And something I noticed as well is uh, your character actually has dialogue now. So you actually get to have a little bit more of a connection with your character, which is really cool. But right off the rip here, it's asking me to pick one of these cars. I'm not sure if we get to keep it or we just get to drive it. But we have the C8 Corvette, which is the one that we just drove. The wide body, very, very cool. We have the Ford Bronco, also what we just drove, which is brand new to the game. And then this, man, this is brand new as well. The Mark V Supra. Let's go. That has to be our pick. As much as I want that Corvette, bro, to sing, man, I'm so excited to actually drive this. 
Good choice. Especially if you this is going to be cool. I'm sure this thing has an insane kit that you can put on it as well. Go ahead and take a look at that. Get in this right now. It's got to be the Supra. Okay, so you get to pick your license plate. We'll just keep it with Horizon for now. I'm pretty sure I took them all off of the cars eventually. But we won't mess around with that too much, to be honest. This is going to be a fun car. This is going to be a fun game, man. Get right off the rip before we even dive into what you get with the VIP access. Just go hey, ahead Sean. and buy it. The sooner you get to play this game, the better. Alrighty, so our first showcase on a wing and a prayer showcase. So we'll go ahead and head over there right now. I think we're jumping into the Supra. Hey, yep. Here we go. Wow. It just, yeah, everything feels like it's, um, it's just updated, like it's so nice, which is crazy to think because when you go back to Horizon 3, when Forza Horizon 3 came out, it was, it was like, how do you top this? It's a beautiful game. And then Forza Horizon 4 came out and it was even better. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that just an SV? Yeah. I thought that was an SVJ. It's just an SV. I don't think the SVJ is in the game, but it will definitely be put into the game one day. Probably through like a Forza Thon. Something's going to happen where. Jeez. I'm sorry, Supra. Something's going to happen where that car is going to be coming to the game. They literally listen all the time to the community and they add all these cars that people want. Now, um. Yeah. Let's go ahead and try this uh, this showcase. I forget what I was going to say. I'm not completely sure what your next showcase opponent is planning. Said he had a few surprises in the hold of that cargo plate. Okay, so here is the pre-race menu. So it's very similar to before you have start race, the difficulty. Tune car. This we can't tune because it's not my car. But if it's my car, then that would be white and we'd be able to do it. Quit race in the starting grid. So we're just going to go ahead. I already messed with all the settings and everything. We're going to go ahead and start the race event. See what we're racing up against. We're racing up against a plane? Jeez. It's always something absolutely insane. I'm pretty sure Fast and the Furious franchise and Forza Horizon franchise, they're like in competition for the most crazy ideas. But that's the fun about Forza Horizon. Is literally... You just get to kind of mess around with these cars that you could never do in real life. You couldn't do anything like this. But in Forza Horizon, there's no consequences. So you go ahead, have fun, and destroy these cars as much as possible. Jump them from airplanes, do whatever you can. I think this car may have been in the Forza Horizon 4 game. I think it's the, the Ford Escort, maybe? Like a 90s something or an 80s something. But the Hoonigan cars are all going to be back in the game, I'm sure. We're actually going to do a full car list as well, so you can see each and every single car that's in the game. I don't know if that also includes the cars that are going to be coming, because I know there's a car pass, and it only shows like the first couple cars that are available. So I think down the road, there'll be more cars available in that. But for now, we'll just kind of show everything that's available as of day one, and we'll go from there. So this is a really cool car. Oh, geez, got some dirt bikes. Yeah, this reminds me of like the, um, the Cuba race in Fast and the Furious 8 or Fate of the Furious or whatever it's called. 
I don't know if you guys remember the very first race of the movie. This is cool, man. So Forza Horizon 5, it's based in Mexico with all these different terrains and places that you can visit and kind of explore. And I'm sure what stays or happens in Mexico definitely stays in Mexico. Yo, this is sweet, man. I'm actually really enjoying this. Everything just looks so good and, and like I said, updated. Very cool. Yeah, one thing I'm really excited for is just literally jumping into all the cars and kind of just testing them all out and doing the customizations. Something that Forza's really lacked. I'm not sure if I already said this, but in the past, like the customizations haven't really been too crazy. Like Need for Speed and the Crew 2, they're like so much further ahead than Forza. Uh, Horizon at least, no, even Forza Motorsport. They're so much further ahead with the customizations, so it'd be nice to see if they actually did anything with this game as like an upgrade or anything like that. But yeah, if you guys are interested in that sort of thing, like full customization videos, uh, gameplay, anything like that, make sure you are subscribed uh, to the channel with your notifications on. We're going to be trying... Oh my goodness! Yo, where's that guy's bike go, man? He's, uh, he's doing a wingsuit, that's new. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing like uh, all those type of videos, gameplay videos, customization videos, whatever we can. And we're going to be posting like one to two per day, at least for the first little bit. So make sure you guys are subscribed. I would appreciate that. But it looks like we're pretty much wrapped up. We're going to be able to head to the festival very soon and go over exactly what you get with this premium edition game. All right, so we're just rolling up to the Horizon Festival. We'll, uh, we'll we'll pretty much see what it's um, what it's like inside. I'm really excited to see the Forza Vista as well. I know every single time I'm very excited for it. And as I can, dang, that looks so good. Okay, new car to collect. A new car has been added. The 1994 Hoonigan Ford Escort. So that's the car that we just drove. I guess we got it for winning that showcase. So here is the main menu. It looks very, very simple to actually follow. You have your buy and sell, your garage, and your festival. The festival has things like customize your character, your name, the festival playlist, um, your stats, settings, everything like that. Forza link, I'm not sure what that is. A buy and sell has the auction house. Let's go! So the auction house is going to be something that I use like crazy. I'm going to make a bunch of videos on that as well. But that is single-handedly the best way that you can make money in forza so if you guys are interested in that make sure to check out the videos to come you have your forza thon which is like weekly events and challenges that you can do to win cool prizes new cars that sort of thing not available yet but it will be here soon you have your auto show which is all the cars we'll go over the entire list you have the car pass and the car packs which are both purchasable uh through uh the marketplace then you have your garage, your upgrades, your design, you have car horns, Forza Vista, so we'll take a quick look at that. But where the car is sitting in the showroom here looks absolutely stunning, dude. This is cool. I actually really like this one. It's very simple. The lighting is actually really, really good as well. It's dark and modern. Man, they did a really nice job with this. We'll see once we get more cars in here see exactly how everything looks but that's a very very cool little spot that you can put your cars take some photos like that is super clean dude yo the thumbnails i'm gonna be able to get dude like dang that's awesome we'll jump out of here of course you can open up your car and check everything out there but really what we're interested in is what do you actually get with the vip access so let's go over to buy and sell Pretty much what you end up getting with this pa or this edition. It's $129 Canadian is what I spent. Um, pretty much what it gives you is something called a car pass. It's been in the past game as well. Car pass is a whole list of cars. Probably like 50 to 60 cars eventually that will be coming out. There's a whole list of cars that will be coming out uh, pretty much at a certain day and every single week. 
So you get this car pass and then every week you can unlock certain cars. This week and next week is actually a two week difference. Um, this week and or the, these cars and next cars are a two week difference. But then it looks like it actually hops back to one week every single time. So right now all these cars are available right here. All eight of these cars and they're all drift cars uh, besides this Datsun down here. But these are all available for free. So first off, you get eight cars right off the rip. We're going to go ahead and redeem all these cars right now. Then you have the car packs, which are cars that are going to be coming in the future. These are the two welcome uh, pack. Oh, very cool. Look at some of those cars. Um, let's go ahead and click that. These are both actually given to you with this edition as well. So the, yeah, okay. So the Formula Drift car pack, which came with the... Um, the car pass. I don't know why it was in the car pass. I have no idea why it's also there, but either way, uh, that's one that you can buy or you can get it with this edition. And this one has the Apollo I8 or IE, the Tolkien. I don't even know what the Porsche is called. What is that called? The Taycan? Uh, the Supra Mark IV, a Lancer. Very cool. So all these are available as well. All you do is literally just click on it. That's not working. All right, let's back out of there. We'll just head to the garage. I'm sure they're already in there. They are. Oh, ooh, what? Yo, I got all three of these. Right off the rip, Sue. So you get the um, you get the Supra, you get the Corvette, and you get the Bronco. So it doesn't matter which one you pick. So that's really good news. Very cool. I don't know how to get the my, my welcome car pass. Car pack. Go to these. Purchased. When I click A, it just it, it kicks me out. So let's go ahead and head to the auto show really quick. And we'll see if I can get this. So one of them is available, one's not. For free at least. Okay, colors, we'll keep it normal. 1.5, I, I don't know. Anyway, it says purchase, so I don't know what's going on with that. I may have to download it and then I'll get it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what comes with it. You also get a VIP uh, like membership, which just gives you a whole bunch of random bonuses. What we'll actually do, we'll head over here to the store and we'll take a look at the exact description that it offers. Okay, Forza Horizon 5 VIP membership features exclusive rewards that give your game a boost and make you stand out in the Horizon Festival. VIPs receive three exclusive Forza edition cars. So I'm not sure what cars those are yet. We'll take a look. Maybe I'll uh, reveal them on the next videos. Uh, Crown Flare, not sure what that is. Vanity items, emotes, car horn, gifted player house. So we get houses again in this game, which is awesome. So we'll get one of those for free two time credit race rewards which is really good that'll help you kind of just get ahead really fast and this is kind of what helped me with forza horizon 4 so i was getting like double the rewards for everything weekly bonus super wheel spins and more vip membership it can be purchased separately if you don't get this edition if you just get the base game then you can still get this uh and pay a little bit less so you can become a VIP today. Okay, uh, what else does it come with? Let's go ahead and take a quick look. So you get a treasure map. I actually don't know if that actually comes with it. I don't think that does come with it, to be honest. Here we go. Here's a whole list. So you get the welcome pack, which I showed you. The car pass, which is all those cars that are going to be coming out every single week. They get for free. You get early access, which is huge. I don't know if you can still get that because it's not pre-order anymore. But early access, uh, which is November 5th. You get VIP membership and two expansions that will come to the game in the future. So those are really, really important. And then for the deluxe edition, you only get the car pass, which is like 20 or $30 cheaper. And then 20 or $30 cheaper than that, you get just the base game. So whatever you want is totally up to you. But my recommendation for Forza Horizon 5 is the VIP 
the premium, the gold edition, the ultimate edition, whatever you want to call it, the gold one, go for it. Spend the money and have a great, great time. But yeah, super excited to play this game. We're pretty much going to jump back into it. I'm going to make a couple more videos here. Um, but that's going to wrap this one up. That's what you get with the VIP lifestyle. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like the video. Make sure you are subscribed because like I said, we're pumping out videos with Forza Horizon 5 over the next couple weeks. And we're going to continue over the next couple months as well. I'm sure there's a lot to dive into, a lot to explore, a lot to unlock, everything like that. So anyway, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.